Back in the video. Wait, figure on that. What's up, Kevin Nation? We're back with another video. Yes, it's been a while since I actually did that. Been gone for a month. No need to comment. And from the people at school, it says, When well, you name Kevin Nation vlogs, you know, and vlog. Well, got your wish. I'm um, pretty soon here. I don't know if it'll be in this video, but my videos. And from now on, what an intro and outro. Well, not outro on my name. My intro will say Kev Nation. I officially changed my name. Yes, Kev Nation. Just Kev Nation. And come down if you have a better name. But include Kev Nation because, you know, you need that. But yeah, so today we'll be doing um NBA Talk, as you told. um Was in the title and thumbnail. So first, one of the biggest things is... Not biggest, but right now, LeBron's first ejection. And yes, that's crazy. <coughs> yes, this is his first ejection. Eject I can't speak. Ejection of his whole career. Yes, the ref went like that. And then he was out. His name was Kane Fitzgerald. And here's his exact words. Well, not exact quote. I don't write not too much writing. You know, a little dumb. But he says he was throwing air punches like like this. Like he's mad. Understandable. Um, Charge at him. Aggressively charge like boom, boom. And then screaming. I mean, what? If, all right, let's go first. Air punches. Out, you're walking over them mad, and you're charging. You're not charging. Like, you're not running full speed. You're just walking hard. And then screaming. You're not going, all right, all right, I don't got time to argue with this. It's been done. A lot of people d d agree with me saying this should not have been a, um ejection. And I heard that his job is affected right now i swear go look it up his job is um being looked up or not job but you guys know what i mean <coughs> his status as a referee and then now uh by the way boston just you guys probably already knew it's a, this is a little old boston already blew the streak to the miami heat they're on a 16 lost it and now Cavs are on a nine game winning streak um so that's pretty good i love the Cavs. it's my second Time for first favorite team, cause yeah, I'm Detroit, so Detroit pissed my favorite. They're doing good. They won tonight, actually. I was just watching the game. I had to turn off because I'm about to record a video. But yeah, they're in a game winning streak, and the thing is also about the Cavs. So this, this is a lot about the Cavs. <coughs> in case you can't tell by my voice, I'm a little sick. But I was bored, so I might as well do a video for you guys. And then, so and D Rose, who? That's right. Big talk beginning of the season about D Rose coming to Cleveland. Everything's gonna change. We're gonna go undefeated. And then with him, we're lose a lot. And then as soon as he leaves, you know, we're gonna make it money straight now. But that's none of my business. But yeah, there's been talk of D Rose saying like I don't wanna put it in words, not retire, but like retire, yeah, like he's evaluating his best of our career in the future. And so right now he's a lot to come back to play, but he's a lot not doesn't want to, which I didn't even know that you're allowed to do that. But I guess, like, I sort of expected this. He gets injured every year. It's like, it's pretty sad. I mean, hey, who cares? But, I mean, my friend Kenny does. But I don't. We've been doing great with him. Nine game winning streak. So, hey, D Rose, you're a good player before your injury. Well, you just have to say which one, but that's none of my business. Well, your big one that pretty much ended your career. Before that, you were a god. You're gonna be good as Kyrie. You're gonna be good as like you're gonna you're gonna be like a mini LeBron. Like good as him. Just about that. I'm gonna do something about that one. But yeah, then we're gonna move on to Rookie of the Year. This is still early. We're on the halfway through the season, and I'm already calling. I'm already calling it. Ben Simmons. Right now, he's averaging 35.1 minutes per game, 18.1 points, 9.1 rebounds, and 7.4 assists. He's about one rebound away and about three. <coughs> oh, my God. Three re assists away from averaging a triple-double. 
And it's not too late in the season to do that. He just needs to work up his game. And I think he'd be the first rookie to average a triple-double. Well, not probably. He would. He'd be the third person ever to average a triple-double. That's even... That's still great. Let alone the first rookie. But Alonzo... Personally, he's a bust. Personally. He is not worth a second... Um, what's it called? Second pick, whatever it's called. Set first round, second pick. My God, <coughs> his points. I forgot to look at his points. I'm sorry to argue about this. So I might put in the description to argue. To, but he chooses games like, like once every two weeks. All right, I'm gonna pick this day be good. And all right, if I'm gonna pick next Tuesday. And all right, that's good. I'm gonna then just all the other days. I'm gonna get two points, three points, one assist, and you know, same old, same old Lonzo, the best at all three of them. Don't sue me, Lamelo Ball, Jacqueline. You're probably gonna like that one, but personally, it's Lamelo Ball. So, hey, but thanks for tuning in. Like, subscribe. Peace out. Fuck talking, let that middle bang, nigga. I don't squash no beef. No, I was taught to handle everything, nigga.